Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. It's 42 days ago to your GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to be focused on the topic of negative numbers. So in this video we're going to look at negative numbers. I'd highly recommend you have a look at the practice questions today. So in the description below there's a link to the practice questions as well. But today we're going to look at negative numbers, so let's get started. Hi, today we're going to recap negative numbers. So to start off with, here's a question for you to try. Here's a map and we've got some cities on this map. We've got Aberdeen, Newcastle, London, Cardiff, Cork and Belfast. And can you write the cities in order of temperature, starting from from the coldest and going to the warmest so feel free to press pause and do that now okay so in terms of the coldest city well belfast has got a temperature of negative eight degrees celsius that's the coldest temperature so belfast is the coldest so belfast okay so we've done belfast next if we have a look for the next coldest well that would be cork at negative seven degrees celsius so cork so we've done cork next we then have aberdeen at negative six degrees celsius so we've done aberdeen aberdeen Okay, next we then have Newcastle with a temperature of negative 4 degrees Celsius, so Newcastle. Okay, so we've done Newcastle. Next, then we've got a choice of Cardiff or London. Well, Cardiff's got a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius, so it would be next. So Cardiff. So we've done Cardiff. And finally, London's the warmest city with a temperature of 2 degrees Celsius, so London would be the warmest. So then our cities in order from coldest to warmest would be Belfast, Cork, Aberdeen, Newcastle, Cardiff, and London. And that's it. So it's important you're able to order numbers including negative numbers, and that's what that question was about. Okay, next, let's have a look at another question involving negative numbers. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question, we've got five towns and we've got their temperatures. So we've got Lake with a temperature of negative seven degrees Celsius, Milton with a temperature of 16 degrees Celsius, Donhampton with a temperature of negative 10 degrees Celsius, Redtown with a temperature of eight degrees Celsius, and Sandville with a temperature of negative four degrees Celsius. And our question says, work out the range of the temperatures. So feel free to press pause now and work out the range of these temperatures. Okay, so to work out the range, we do the biggest take away the smallest, or we work out the difference between the largest and the smallest value, or in this case, we work out the difference between the highest temperature and the lowest temperature. So in terms of the highest temperature, well, that would be our 16 degrees Celsius, that's the warmest temperature, and the lowest temperature would be the negative 10 degrees Celsius in Dalhampton, so that would be the lowest temperature, negative 10. So we just need to work out the difference between them. So we would do 16, subtract, negative 10 degrees Celsius. So 16, subtract negative 10, well 16 minus minus 10. When you subtract a negative, it actually goes back up, because when you subtract a positive, it goes down. When you subtract a negative, it goes back up. So you're going to do 16 plus 10, and 16 plus 10 would be 26 degrees Celsius. So the range of the temperatures would be 26 degrees Celsius. Now another way you could consider that question is by using a number line. You could say, well, the coldest temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius. We then have the warmest temperature is 16 degrees Celsius, and we want to work out the difference between them. Well, zero would be about here somewhere, so we'd have zero degrees Celsius. So you'd have 10 degrees to get from negative 10 degrees Celsius to zero degrees Celsius. So that'd be 10 degrees. And then you'd have another 16 degrees. So altogether, the difference between the temperatures would be 26 degrees Celsius, so 26 degrees Celsius. That's the range of the temperatures, the difference between the highest temperature and the lowest temperature temperature would be 26 degrees Celsius. And some people like using a number line to do that. So I just do 16 subtract negative 10. So I just do 16 plus 10, which is 26 degrees Celsius. And it's up to you. Okay, let's have a look at our next part. So we've got the same times and the same temperatures. And the next part says the temperature in Watford is nine degrees Celsius warmer than in Sandville. What is the temperature in Watford? Well, let's find Sandville's temperature. So the temperature in Sandville is negative four degrees Celsius. That's the temperature in Sandville. And the temperature in Watford is nine degrees Celsius warmer. So that means we now need to add 9 to negative 4. So we're going to do negative 4 plus 9. And negative 4 plus 9, well, if you add 4, you get to 0. You've then got another 5 to add. So that would be 5. So it would be 5 degrees Celsius. So the temperature in Watford would be 5 degrees Celsius. And that's it. Now, some people, again, like to use a number line. So if you had the temperature in Sandville, which is negative 4 degrees Celsius, and we want to add 9 because it's 9 degrees warmer in Watford. So we then add 4 to begin with. So we add 4, and that would bring you to 0 degrees Celsius. And then we'd add another 5, because you have to add 9 altogether, and that would bring you to 5 degrees Celsius. So that would be the temperature in Watford, 5 degrees. And that's it. Okay, so we've had a look at some negative number questions there that are in a context involving perhaps temperatures and, you know, a certain place being so many degrees warmer or colder and the working out the range and things like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at some arithmetic involving negative numbers. Now, these are questions that I'm going to show you all non-calculator questions, and they're all for you to try. So you try these questions, press pause and try the questions, and then I'll go through them just to make sure that you're confident with your arithmetic involving negative numbers. So here's some questions for you to try. So we've got 7 take away 10, negative 8 plus 12, negative 11 subtract. 7, 5 plus negative 2, 8 subtract negative 6, negative 9 plus negative 6, and these are questions for you to try, so feel free to press pause now and to work out the answers to these questions. 
Okay, let's have a look at our first one. So our first question says 7 subtract 10. So 7 subtract 10, well, 7 subtract 7 would be 0, but we would have to take away another 3. So that means our answer would be negative 3, because 7 take away 10 would be negative 3. We'd go down to 0, so that would be taking away 7 would bring us down to 0. We'd have another 3 to take away, so the answer would be negative 3. Okay, next one, negative 8 plus 12. Well, negative 8 plus 12, well, if you add 8 to negative 8, you get to 0, and then we'd have another 4 to add, so the answer would be 4. So negative 8 plus 12 is 4. Okay, next, negative 11 take away 7. Well, if you're at negative 11, and then you take away 7, you're going to go down another 7, so the answer would be negative 18. Okay, next, 5 plus negative 2. Well, when we add a positive number, it goes up. So when we add a negative number, it goes down. Or another way to think about it is when you add a negative, it's just the same as subtracting. So we do 5 take away 2, and 5 take away 2 would be 3. So if you do 5 plus negative 2, you're going to go down 2, so the answer would be 3. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. So we've got 8 subtract negative 6. Well, when we subtract a positive, it goes down. So when we subtract a negative, it goes up. So we're going to go up 6 from 8. So 8 plus 6 would be equal to 14. So the answer would be 14. Or another way to think about that is, if you're subtracting a negative, it's the same as adding. So you just do 8 plus 6, and 8 plus 6 is 14. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. We've got negative 9 plus negative 6. But when we add a positive number, it goes up. So when we add a negative, it goes down. So we're at negative 9, and we're going to go down 6. So if we're at negative 9, and you go down 6, that's going to be my negative 10, negative 11, negative 12, negative 13, negative 14, negative 15. So that's going to be negative 15. Or another way to think about it is when you add a negative, you just subtract. So we've got negative 9, subtract 6, and negative 9, subtract 6 would be negative 15. And that's it. Okay, so we've looked at some questions involving adding and subtracting negative numbers. Now let's have a look at some questions involving multiplying and dividing negative numbers. So again, these are questions for you to try, so let's have a look at them. Well, actually, let's just maybe remind ourselves of the rules to begin with. So if you've got a positive number, you times about a positive number, well, obviously that would be a positive number. For instance, 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, next, if you had a positive times a negative, so for instance, if you had 2 times negative 7, or double negative 7, that would be negative 14. So a positive times a negative is a negative. Next, if you've got a negative times a positive, well, if you turn those around and done negative 7 times 2, well, that's going to be negative 7 times 2 would be doubling negative 7 would be negative 14. So again, a negative times a positive is a negative. And finally, if you had a negative times a negative, well, negative times a negative is a positive. So a negative times a negative is a positive. And it's important to know these rules that a positive times positive is a positive, a negative times a negative is a positive, and a positive times a negative or a negative times a positive are both negative. And the way I remember it is if they're both the same, so for instance, if they're both positive, positives or both negatives, so you get positive answers, and if you get one of each, then you get a negative. Okay, and the rules are the same for division, a positive divided by a positive is a positive, a positive divided by a negative would be a negative, a negative divided by a positive would be a negative, and finally a negative divided by a negative would be a positive. So it's important to know those rules. Okay, and remember if you've got those window pens, write them on your windows, and you know, maybe get your friends and families to quiz you on them, and just make sure you remember that you know these rules whenever you're dealing with negative numbers, because, because at some point during your GCSE maths exams, you're going to be doing up a negative times a negative, negative or positive times a negative and so on. So for instance, you might be drawing a quadratic graph and you might need to do negative five squared. So you'd have to do negative five times negative five. Or it might be you're doing an XY table to do a linear graph and you might have to do five times negative four or something like that. So you're gonna to need to know these rules whenever you're dealing with positive and negative numbers. Okay, so let's have a look at these questions. So these are questions for you to try. So feel free to press pause and try these questions now. Okay, so let's have a look at these questions. So we've got 7 times negative 3. We've got a positive times a negative, so there's one of each. That means we're going to have a negative answer. 7 times 3 is 21, so 7 times negative 3 would be negative 21. Okay, next, we've got negative 9 times negative 4. We've got a negative times a negative. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, and 9 times 4 is 36, so the answer would be 36. Okay, next, we've got negative 56 divided by 8. Well, 56 divided by 8 is 7, so negative 56 divided by 8, and negative divided by positive is a negative, so negative 56 divided by 8 would be negative 7. Okay, and finally, we've got a negative divided by a negative, so it's going to be a positive answer, and 42 divided by 6 is 7, so negative 42 divided by negative 6 would be 7, so the answer, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 42 divided by 6 is 7, so the answer would just be 7, and that's it. And if you got those, well done. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at adding and subtracting involving negative numbers. And we've also looked at multiplying and dividing negative numbers. And we've also looked at some real life situations. So I really hope you found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now remember, the next video will be 41 days to go to your GCC Maps exam. And it'll be released tomorrow at 3 o'clock on YouTube. So keep an eye out for that. And also just keep up the hard work. You're doing really, really well. And I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.